Mike, check, Mike, check. What's kicking, family? I'm glad you've clicked in so I can check in with you. 50 games almost under our belt in the baseball season, and the Mets are on top, or roughly a half a game between them and the Philadelphia Phillies, the defending world champions. Wow, who would have said that uh, we would have gotten here to this point with the Mets being on top like this? That's a rough one. You know why? Because uh, video replays have helped the Mets. Uh, I believe they're 5-for-5 five five on video home run replays. And we also got some hustle issue with the Mets. See, you know, everything's not hunky-dory because it's not like, a you know, they made this move and they made this assault and, you know, everything is, is hunky-dory. You had Schneider in one series miss third base. Now you have Fernando Martinez, one of their uh, rookie phenoms or somebody that's been highly touted in the farm system. Watch a pop fly. It's dropped and he gets thrown out. This is frustrating as a fan. Let me tell you now, you've seen, you can see little kids do that in Little League Baseball. And they're learning. They're in a training process. Now you get these guys in the pros who are getting paid to play a kid's game. And there's no hustle. This team does not have any hustle. It does not have any grit. Cause, come on, because it all goes back to when Cole Hamels from the Phillies came on daytime talk, sports talk radio here in New York and called the Mets soft. That's right, called them soft. I remember the 86 Mets were not soft. They were tough. You know, they didn't take no tough, no, no gruff, no nothing. And they went out there and got that ring by kicking butt and taking names. You understand what I'm saying? This team is, is, is nothing like that. This team is not about that. This team is about sports center highlights and stuff like that. That's what this new age ball player is all about. If I can make a play, if I can pose, I know the camera is going to be on me. And it's going to be more than one camera. You're going to see three or four different angles of a certain play from a ball player in any given game. And next thing you know, it's going to be in that highlight package reel. And next thing you know, it's played forever and voted on. That's my whole thing about this Met team. No hustle, no heart, no grit. You make that mistake by watching the pop fly drop and you get, you know, you get thrown out. You don't go back into the game. What you're supposed to do, the manager's supposed to sit you down. What's going on here? What, what kind of circus is, is this? They talk, they tell stories about... How Gil Hodges went into the outfield and pulled, uh, was it Cleon Jones out of the outfield after he didn't hustle? We don't see that today. You know why? Because it's like, oh, we don't want to bruise the ego of the ball player. Yo, you're getting paid a lot of money to play a kid's game. Show some hustle. Show some heart. Oh, sorry, you got to make it through the season. Yo, you're still getting, you're still getting paid. You're getting paid. You know, my whole thing here is, is that the Messel, the Mets, the Messel, Mets, <laughs> the Mets don't have any real heart. Yes, they're soft, like Cole Hamill said. Yes, they may be sitting in first place roughly at the 50 game mark of the season. I want a little bit more. I want a little bit more grit. I don't want all that pose and all that dancing. I want to show a purpose of, you know, getting wins. Look at the Phillies. The Phillies hustle like crazy. Their pitching is 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 like uh, nowhere close to what the Mets are. But then again, they still got a lot of heart, a lot of grit, a lot of fight. You know, there's too many excuses for the Mets. Not touching third, Fernando Martinez. And not running out of pop fly. Uh, Carlos Beltran not running over the, the catcher. Uh, Gary Sheffield not clipping the first baseman on a throw to the, you know, a little bit errant throw to the plate. You know, those are the little things, you know, that show me that, you know, you really want to fight for every inch. You know, you want to get everything that there's possible so that you can win that game convincingly. And I don't know how much heart that the Mets are going to show come late in the year when it's time to make that pennant run and, and get into postseason baseball. So other than that, right about now, I'm going to enjoy the fact that they're in first place or tied for first place along with Philly, and we'll move from there. The The base running blunders, the lack of hustle, is what really gets uh, under my skin when it comes to these ball players, and uh, there's too much posing for the next uh, sports center type deal. This is Batch.